Today I will show you how to make a scratch RPG. This includes player animation, player walking, and player speed. As you can see, we're able to walk perfectly normal and we're able to bump up the player speed. And there's also animations. The link to the project is in the description if you want to have the assets. So first we can start by remixing the project. And then we open up the editor. Now we go into our player and delete the comment. Then we go to event and get our green flag. We're going to make a new variable called x for the sprite only. and Y for the sprite only. Now we're going to do a go to X to 0, 0. And then we're going to set X and Y to, to wipe X position and Y position. We're going to make a new block called Set variable x and set variable y. So we're going to have an input, a number input is called x, and then we're going to make a second input called y, which is var variable y. And run without screen refresh. Now we put that in the code, and then, then we set the thing to x position and y position and the x and y. Now we add those things there and it's now perfect. Now we put a forever under the the green flag. Now I make a new block called input. Now you add an input left right up And down for this well run without screen fresh so it's always fast now we and we also have something called speed now we just make space for the blocks and now we're gonna add that in the forever now we're gonna make key Left arrow is pressed. Now we're going to do key left right arrow is pressed. Then we're going to do up. Then we're going to do down. Then we're going to set the speed to 5. So now we're going to switch the costume to idle 180. If left then change x by minus 10 or negative 10. Then save the project. I always save it just in case something bad happens. Now we do if right then then change x by 10. So now we've got to replace all the change x's to change y's, since we're going to move vertical. Now change y, and change minus 10. And that should be perfect. Now, well, you might be wondering, why do we need the speed? Well, we got to make a speed for our player. So, well, it doesn't really show, like, when it's 5 or not, because, well, scratch doesn't work that way. But now, but now we can see that our player is super fast, because we didn't add the speed thing. So now it's gonna, we're gonna add it into our code. So we go to operators, then get a minus block, then we put the speed on the right side. And always put it in the right side if, if you're doing that. And then we do 
change x by speed and then then we do change y by speed and change y by by negative speed now now we work pretty normal Now we make a new variable. It's called speed for this sprite only. Now we set speed to five. Now we're gonna turn the variable into a slider by right clicking in it. Then we're gonna make the highest value 50, just in case. Now let's see. Okay, now we can move super fast or we can move super slow. Like one is like very slow. Okay, now we're gonna make a new variable. It's gonna be called dir for this sprite only. So set dir to, to minus 90. Set door to 90, set door to 0, then set door to minus 180. Oh, wait, or just 180. Since the costumes here, we have 0, 180, minus 90, 90, and all those. So now we gotta put a switch costume. Uh, wait, first we gotta put a join block now now it's gonna add idle then space it's very important to add a space after idle yeah so so it could be accurate then we add dir into it now now we're gonna just copy that now instead of just idle now we do w space then we just copy that copy that and copy that. Now it looks very perfect. Now we gotta add the the set var variables, and now we gotta do x and y position. And now it changes perfectly. Yep, it does. It's really working. Hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And see you in the next episode of the series of how to make an RPG. Bye.